The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. So how do we work through this? How do we solve this issue, which is, it's there. The issue isn't going anywhere. There's, there are more good shows on right now than at any time in the history of television, and it's always right there. So what do we do, Doc? So there's some quick tips, and it's a lot easier than the thing. The first thing, shift your schedule back. Like you alluded to earlier, you can watch this on demand. Adjust your schedule one hour back to allow time for the binge and what comes after the binge, then you can fit it all in. Or agree to a joint binge session. You agree to one device, one show, and we're gonna watch it together because anything couples do together keeps you connected. And when you're connected as a couple, you're just that, connected. Now, the more drastic nuclear option is declare the bedroom a tech-free zone. No laptops, no phones, no nothing. That way your brain is trained to understand when we're in that room, we're doing one of two things. We're sleeping or we're sexing. And that's oh. good too. And that's what sleep experts and sex therapists say. The boudoir is for one of those two things. I that just think it's work. one more, I think it's just one more reason to, to really focus on the beauty of those mornings too because you wake up in the morning and honestly the, the everyone forgets for a little while that the tech devices are around yeah it's old school you wake up in the morning wait it's just you and me right so it kind of right like what are you doing nothing what are you yeah. doing nothing right hey, what wanna, the kill me wanna, <laughs> okay <laughs> wait a minute i think in the middle <laughs> and you're like wow that was great and let's not overlook the afternoon delight either oh, I mean, if you can squeeze it a little. Wait a minute. Now, see, I'm up here with two guys. So we, we've covered the morning, the night, <laughs> the afternoon, just just all day long. Well, Dr. Rish, you got to take yeah, it with yeah. you. We, we went from no intercourse to all the intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we let you go, Dr. Rish, I'm curious, in the age of binge watching, and you mentioned both of you together watching the same show, is there a specific type of series we should look for to enjoy with our partners that maybe would put you, and I'm not talking about porn here. Everyone get your, get no. your, I'm, I'm actually talking about the kinds of series that bring people together. Is, is there something that we should be focusing on that maybe it'll improve our sex lives and, and bring us together rather than? You know what? Absolutely, you put your finger right on it. Watching porn together is actually great, and it's very recommended, and it's healthy for couples. Now, if you can't quite go there together, you can watch anything with babies and anything with food. It kind of subconsciously triggers that oxytocin, and it makes you feel more connected. So that's the key. But oh, I as, love it. Do you just have to have, like, a balanced conversation, though? Because I could see, honestly, some people getting upset. Like, a woman might say, oh, that's what you like? I don't look anything like her. Like, I've never done that before. So how do you navigate, <laughs> how do you navigate that? Yeah, and so it's, it's you and me here and the porn is over there, right? This is our extra, this is our tool, this is our fantasy. You have yours and I have mine. I am totally happy with you, darling, but this is just interesting and it's something we're going to use together to make our sex We're, life that we're amateurs, but we can give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's like you said, have the conversation before you get into it because you want to make sure you're both on the same page and understand, hey, this is just something extra. We're totally happy with what we got, but this is just a way for us to make it better. And don't hurt people's feelings. Be like, yeah, like that. That's what I want you to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Clearly there are shows then on you, Then you'll be on Dr. Rich's couch. <laughs> right, I know, right? Doc. Dr. Rich, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, pleasure, guys. Thank you. I don't know about you all, but the things I'm watching on Netflix don't, that, that's not there. Is there, a, is there a hidden portion of Netflix that, that you know no, about? but it doesn't have to be like me. that. I mean, anything I that you, like he said, that you connect, that you have, I agree. you both look forward to entertaining, it's all good.